So, Brother Stoudemire, tell the public how you feel about this. Yeah, if your ancestors were brought to America or any other part of the world by way of slave ship, you are from the ancient tribe of the Hebrew Israelites. How do we know this? Because Abraham was a Hebrew. He had a son named Isaac. Isaac had a son named Jacob. Genesis chapter 11, verse 10. Explains the genealogy of Shem. Shem was a black man in Africa. If you repeat this back, Genesis 14, verse 13. Abraham steps on the scene. Being a descendant of Shem, which is a fact, means Abraham too was black. Abraham, born in the city of a black man, called Nimrod, grandson of Ham. Ham had four sons. One was named Cain. Here, let me do some explaining. Abraham, Isaac was the Jacob had 12 sons, for real, and these were the children of Israel. Jacob had 12 sons. They became the 12 tribes of Israel. That's the first time the Bible ever heard of the name Israel. So when the Bible speak of the children of Israel, they're speaking about a group of people. This is very important to know because it's black history. This is true black history for all of us to understand our ancient history and who we are and what our purpose is. Who are the only people that was bought here as slaves? We were. And the Lord already told us before we even got to the promised land the first time, if we obey his laws and keep his commandments, he would make us the top people. But if we should not obey his laws and keep his statutes and commandments, he would send us into slavery. We'd be sold as male and female slaves, and we would be hid away in prison houses. We will be the tail, and everybody else will be the head. So, Brother Stoudemire, understand this. Brother Stoudemire. Absolutely, and it's very important for all the rest of us to understand it because when we talk about Black History Month, a lot of us can't go past slavery. We have to take our history a little further and a little deeper than that, research this Bible and also history to understand who we are as a people, why we're in the predicament that we're in, and how to get out of it by following the commandments, the statutes, and the laws of God. We're going to show you we are chosen priests and we are supposed to teach about, teach all of the Bible because the Bible is our history and the Lord chose us to bring all of the sons and daughters of Adam back to them. So if we are to bring them all back to God, that means that we have to teach the world. And sisters and brothers, when you look around it, the world has been woefully misinformed when it comes to the word of God or on the people of God.